Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. Huge day today. We've got eight garage sales to get stuck into and fingers crossed we can come away with some really awesome finds. I did a bit of research last night on Facebook Marketplace and I managed to find us eight of them to go and see. But what I wanted to touch on was just the way I'm sort of staging the process of today because I think that's very important for your garage sale run. And I don't want to travel here, there and everywhere and loop my way around the Gold Coast. I want to do it in a nice orderly pattern so I'm not having to waste too much time on commuting. So as you can see here, I've put up a map and the, the trail kind of just leads me along the eight garage sales that we've got without sort of needing to go back and forth. And I think that's a really crucial step before we kick things off today. Do your research, find what a, what a go, what's going on in your local area and then coordinate it so it's a really good path so you're not wasting too much time and you're hitting them when they open up straight away. So six, seven o'clock, um, getting into them at six, seven o'clock. Um, if you're into reselling by any means, guys, I sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and I put out three videos every single week on YouTube talking about it. So if it's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like as well. It's very, very much appreciated. Thought I'd just drop that little knowledge bomb to start off the day, but let's get into the good stuff and uh, jump into some, uh, hopefully some really good garage sales. We're not too far away from the first one. So let's get stuck into it. Hope you're excited. I certainly am. Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> Selling dogs too. <laughs> Selling dogs too. Hello there. How are you? How are you? What's your name? That's Scooby and this is Timmy. Oh, hello guys. How are you? Cuties. Yeah. They're just good for walking. Instead of putting them upstairs, I thought I'd put them in here. Sit down, down. They don't it. like it very much. That's why I'm selling them. <laughs> How's it all going? Oh, not good. Not good? No. Still got heaps of this. Yeah. Yeah, right. you got to get it. No. Got to get rid of it, hey? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. Are you moving or are you? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, right. So we took out that trolley to get it all out. Oh, <laughs> I hear you. trying to clear out. Could that, this still works, all good. How much are you doing on that one? 25. Oh, is there? Oh, in here? Does it come with the CD, uh, the cassettes? Yeah. I think it might be in the middle of that thing. Oh, is that? Yeah, okay. Would you take 20? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, fine. I'll take that. Fun little garage sale that one guys not a whole heap that i could take away but i was able to go ahead and grab this cassette uh double deck uh tape player 
So this one worked. Uh, he said it worked completely fine. Um, he was even going to show me it, but I said, look, I'll take your word for it. So I asked him how much he wanted. He said 25. Now that was just for the double deck cassette system. Uh, but there were a heap of tapes underneath and I was able to grab about 20 tapes included with the double deck system for 20 bucks. So I've had a quick look and even just like there's an ABBA, there's an ABBA gold in here. So this ABBA gold cassette tape, that right there is just worth $10 alone on eBay plus postage. So I've got about 20 or so cassette uh, tapes in here to sell and the cassettes might even add up to be about $100 worth of value. I've, I've got to go through everything, but I'm thinking along the lines of if I've got 20 tapes plus the system, I might be able to turn that $20 purchase into about 200 bucks. But I've got to do some uh, further investigating to make sure. Um, and then I've been able to find the Brisbane Lions jersey as well. This one should go for about $30, $35, I'd say, pretty quick. The Brizzy Lions jersey, whenever you find the sports jerseys, always get your hands on it. Um, I ended up paying $10 for it, but because I'd done so well on the uh, cassettes, uh, I just figured I'd just do, a, do up a deal of $30. So 30 bucks for those three items technically, but I've been able to get a heap of cassette tapes in there as well. So really uh, keen to, I'll put a few comps up here as we go along with this story, but I think it's all going to add up to be a pretty good, um, pretty good result there with that. So um, done well so far, struck out at the first one um, that we went into, the second one we've done okay. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep um, hopefully finding some real good stuff. How much for the box of toys here? Ten for that bag and fifteen for this bag. Would you do ten for the box? Yep. All right, I'll take that. No worries, thank you very much. See you, mate. Twenty for the lot. Thank you. How much for just this guy? Did you do five? Yeah. I'll grab that as well. Short, sharp garage style, that one. It was a really small unit. She only had a small select amount of stuff, but I was able to dig through a few things and I was really thinking about the Christmas time. Um, I managed to find this guy. This is a bow and arrow um, Nerf strike gun. There's a comp that I'm gonna whack up for you here, which was brand new, um, but it was $140 brand new for this Nerf gun. And it came with a couple of arrows and I don't have the arrows, but guys, I just paid $5 for this thing and the Nerf guns sell really, really well. So I'm gonna try and get about 50 bucks for this um, in the sense that it isn't brand new and it doesn't have the arrows, but it does work completely fine. And for the Christmas time, I think the kids are gonna to love to get their hands on something like that. So I was really happy to buy the Nerf gun for a quick $5. That was sort of as I was leaving, I just sort of spied it at the end there. And then this as well, I've bought this for $10 in the end. These pirate ships, this is actually a Disney pirate ship. And the comps were telling me that there might be a few dollars to be made in this. I've spent just $10, but it actually came in a bit of a bundled pack. Um, so there was that pirate ship. There was also another pirate ship as well. This one isn't Disney, it's a bit of a cheaper version, but it was sort of part of the pack, so I was happy to grab it. Um, there was also this as well. So this is just obviously great for the Christmas time. Um, so this sort of skull uh, cave type setup as well, so the kids can obviously play with those. And then there were some little action figures. Um, and another small little boat. So there was a heap of sort of action characters in there as well. So 
there was no sort of accurate comps that I could have gone off on that item, but when you're seeing, you know, three really quality pieces of kids' toys, um, this sort of stuff goes like crazy in the uh, in the retail stores. So, you know, secondhand, $50, something like that maybe. I'll deck it out and I'll stage it really well for photos. Um, shipping probably won't be too much or, or too bad, I, would, I wouldn't say, for um, putting it in the post. But for $10 and $5 for the gun, I've spent $15 on toys that really should go for close to maybe 70 to to $100, somewhere around there, I would imagine, once it's all said and done. Um, so I'm happy with the kids' toy pickup for that option, uh, for that garage sale. Um, let's get off to the next one, and um, hopefully we can keep uh, grabbing a heap of stuff. Hi there. Hello, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Good, thanks. Just feel free. Lo yeah. Lovely. No worries. Oh, you, it's the round system here. This is works. That all works, does it? Yes, that all works. Yeah, all okay. Works. All, everything there is together. What like, um, brand is it? It's not not sure? No, it's not mine. It's my son in law. Logitech. So I don't know. I don't know what brand it is. But it does work, he said. Okay. And um, if you're interested. Oh, I'm, I love a bargain. Yeah. Happy to do so. Hello. <laughs> That one's more for parts. That one's for parts? Yeah, more so. How much would you take for the two? Um, well, we had 20 on that and 10 on that, 30. So whatever, what do you... Um, that one does work. Though. I'm that just, yeah, because that's only for... That one doesn't really work, does it? That one over there. What you call me for? Um, for the drill. Wow. Well, I've done it. So, what did I say, 30? 25 for the two? Did you do 20? Yeah. No worries. What is it? Terrific. Thank well, you very thank much. You. All right, I'll load those up. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, all wrapped up there. Uh, not a bad garage sale, a couple of things uh, that were of interest, and I managed to buy those bikes. Now, the bikes came to just $10 each. She wanted 30 initially, um, but then I dropped it down to 20 and came away with a pretty good buy at $10 each. They'll probably sell for between 50 to 70 uh, each, so let's just say $100 for the bikes, and I've paid just 20 bucks. And because I bought that um, cassette uh, double deck system earlier today, um, I bought the cassette cleaner as well. So I've got a heap of cassette tapes now. If I add this cleaner in there with it as well as a bundled pack, um, it's only gonna add to its value and that cost me a dollar. So really happy to get that one as well. Let's keep moving on, grab three items there, spent $21, about a hundred bucks worth of value. Um, hopefully we can find the exact same sort of stuff in the next one.
Awesome stop that one guys, heap of cool stuff found. I didn't actually record too much of it, but I've just come away with a heap of goodies that I want to run you through. Um, the first one were these vans. I managed to find these vans um, in very, very good condition. They've hardly been worn these things. I reckon I could easily get about $30 to $40 for them on eBay. So I've ended up paying $5 for them. Um, really happy to find those because I know those are gonna sell really well. I have sold a fair few of them in the past. Um, I found a collection of hats as well. Now I'm a bit of a hat collector myself. Some do really well, some don't. Um, but I tried to stick to their best ones. So they actually had a dry, I don't know if you can see that, but it's dry as a bone. Um, so dry as a bone obviously always sells very well. It's a very quality make. So um, to find the dry as a bone hat, I sort of had to say yes to that. Um, I found an Ed Hardy hat. I'm not an Ed Hardy man myself, but there are some people out there that are. So I grabbed the Ed Hardy hat. Again, I think these are all like a dollar each. Found the golf hat too. This one just sells super well. I'll get an easy $15 for that one on eBay. I've sold about four of them for 15 so far. So they seem to move pretty quick. So as soon as I saw that, I grabbed it. And then there was a new jersey, um, NBA hat, Carter as well on the back, number 15. So I um, had to get that one. That one was a really good one for a new era hat, really, for a dollar. That was, that was a pretty good grab too. Um, I found some clothing items. So I was able to grab a Ralph Lauren polo. This one was a size large. Um, so I nicked that one off the clothing rack. And then I found some Nautica shorts as well. So I had to grab those. Um, as you can see there, the brand Nautica. I always like to do that. These are a slightly longer length. I personally wouldn't be rocking them myself. Um, they're certainly below the knee, which isn't trendy. But um, anyway, I thought I'd just pick them up. Someone would hopefully like them. These are a size 36. Again, another pair of Nautica. I just bought it on the brand, really. I, I paid a couple of dollars for those as well. I bundled this up into a bit of a package deal. I'll let you know what I spent in the end. Um, another pair of shorts. These were Abercrombie and Fitch. So I had to get the Abercrombie. Size 34 waist. Very, very good. Again, a very long pair of shorts. But uh, who cares? Someone will out there. Will uh, Somebody out there will wear them. So there were three pairs of shorts, there was a, a top, there was uh, four hats, there was a pair of vans, and then I found some old school uh, tapes as well. So I found the Die Hard uh, double disc uh, or double VHS uh, pack there, so I, I nicked that one as well. And I also grabbed Lethal Weapon uh, VHS. <laughs> I just, just cool movies, right? So I had to grab them. So three of those, uh, two in the Die Hard pack, and I also found the complete series of Seinfeld as well. So this one, I was a bit I was a bit tentative to know whether or not it was real or fake. So I did ask the question and she tells me that she bought it genuinely. Um, she didn't go to Thailand or Bali and buy it as a cheap knockoff. And um, it seems to be pretty legit. I'll just show you guys. Um, so here they all are here right there so i've got literally every single episode ever made of seinfeld and i reckon the comps are going to be pretty good what i will say is i don't actually do much comp searching when i'm in there i just go off what i've previously known best um, and i also go on a bit of a whim with a few things as well like i didn't know much about that um the cassette player today uh, but for 20 dollars, i knew that with the tapes as well i could probably run the risk um this whole collection that you've just seen 35 dollars. so I reckon that's going to be at least $70, $80 as a complete series. So there's already $35, $40 worth of profit. And then I've bought everything else. So that was a real win, a really, really good garage sale. And to be honest, I've got a lot of stuff now. I think I'm going to end the day. Uh, it's been a really good collect. What I'll do is I'll get back home and I just want to, lay, I, I want to, I want to work out how much exactly I've spent today because I've been throwing out a bit of money. And I also want to show you as a bit of a collection I'll lay it all out and just go through it with you just to show you everything that was bought today and for how much. So I'll shoot back home and we'll go through what I bought. The bikes are a really good get for just $10 each, so they should flip really well. Um, I was really stoked to get this video cassette deck. Um, so these as well, that's what I was talking about before. So many different video cassette tapes to go through and there's a couple in there and then there's a heap there's a heap in here if i can get them open there we go there we go there so so many to work my way through um and then i've got the cleaner as well that was only an extra dollar um, all the kids toys kids toys will go really well there's a big box of them in there that only cost me ten dollars that cost me five dollars um the dread bolt so that was a good one um, then these were the DVD series and the VHS, so Seinfeld. Then there was Lethal Weapon, Die Hard. 
and then I bought the four hats, the shoes, the clothes, the jersey. So everything in there, guys, $100. And geez, there'll be a lot more made than $100 when I come to resell it. Um, so yeah, I'm all done. I'm gonna get back into the house now. I'm gonna put it all into the system, itemize it out, um, work out exactly how much it was per item, but I'll just probably divide it all out per the number of items by 100 bucks. Um, so it won't come to too much per item at the end of the day. And, um, and then I'm gonna start listing up this afternoon because I'm conscious of the fact that, you know, it is getting close to Christmas and you want all this stuff up for grabs. So I'm gonna get on, get away with listing and researching up exactly what all this could potentially be worth. And then hopefully a few sales trickle through. Um, so that's it guys, thanks very much. Next episode, I'll do a car boot tomorrow. So that'll come out on Tuesday, um, but uh, yeah. Appreciate you tuning into this one. Hopefully you got a kick out of it. Remember to give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel as well because I'm just going to keep putting these videos out. Um, appreciate you tuning into this one. We'll catch you in the next. Bye.